with masturbation 100% every time of the day that you sleep with that demon you have these poisons injected into you you have your spirit removed from you you get addicted to pornography you get addicted to all kinds of rubbish because your spirit has been taken out another spirit has been put into you most people who masturbate you don't know why when you want to go and get visa to travel to fulfill your destiny it's not everybody who goes to travel out of Africa is going to fulfill destiny. Most of them actually end up going into slavery and their case become worse. But there are people that they actually need this trip to be able to fulfill destiny on earth. And the demons have realized this because these masturbation spirits are usually kept there to keep you at a bare, at a limit. They are used to activate ancestral curses in the lives of so many people. So if the ancestral curse in your father's house says that nobody from this family shall travel abroad and you just got this beautiful opportunity to travel abroad, the night before you go for that visa interview, you will find out that no matter how you fight, that demon will knock you down and make sure you masturbate, even though you've not masturbated for almost three weeks or one month. That same night is the day because that day they want to renew the union, the covenant of oneness between your spirit and the spirit of the devil. And the moment that covenant is renewed, what happens is that both of you are going to the embassy as one. When you are married, God no longer sees only you when it is time to give gifts. He sees you and your wife. You come to make a request, it's the spirit of you and your wife that will come. So your wife that is a demonic entity that is bound to keep you be below the limit, make sure you don't prosper, is not going to embassy with you. You show up at the embassy, you have all your papers, everything ready. And the person there behind the counter takes your paper. Bam! Sorry, you can go. They haven't even looked at all the documents you brought. Excuse me, ma'am, but you haven't looked. Excuse me, please, can you leave? You can go to our country. Next! Immediately, and you are bewildered, wondering what just happened because your partner, which is a demon, has said, Me and my husband, me and my wife, we don't need the visa to travel to America, and it is granted. It's the same thing that happens, you want to go and get the job that changes your life and gives you a better salary beyond what you have been getting. Because when they place you at a limit for salary, no matter which company you go to work, they will pay you exactly the same thing. They will change from one company to another, you never earn more, you never get promoted. You've left up to two, three different companies just because you don't get promoted. Yet, the next one you came to, even though they promised, they still won't promote you. And now you are getting another job interview to this one that will really give you promotion. And the night before the interview or two days before, he shows up again and sleeps with you. And you go over there, it is back to square one all over again. Because these demons are meant to keep you low. You are not meant to go beyond. They are like policemen of ancestral curses. The ancestral curses are there. Masturbation comes at the policeman that will make sure you don't go beyond the bar. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Stay here. You're not meant to have a car. You're not meant to do this. You're not meant to do... How many of you have realized that most people who masturbate, if they even manage to get a car, they are always in and out of the mechanic workshops. Have you noticed that? It is because these demons want you to keep spending your money. You don't know that most of the time when you sleep with certain people or maybe when you masturbate, you will just not come to the main road. Out of nowhere, smoke will come out from your car. He said, what is going on with this car? It is these forces. They want to make sure that you are so frustrated to the point that your car will be messed up to a point where you can sell it even a fraction of how much the car is worth until you start entering commercial vehicles. Because you are not meant to own a car and you went to go and own a car. And if you insist you must own one, you will never stop going to mechanic. Even when there's no need to go to mechanic, they will make sure you are in and out of the mechanic workshop, spending your time and your money every day. What about education? 
The zeal to prosper in your educational career dies instantly. You find that you, when you want to read, you open the books you cannot read. You will go and enter the university. After the first year, second year, pure, the desire dies. Before you know it, you're out of the school. They never allow you to go into the university. And even when you enter, to finish where you will not finish. Others will finish and leave. You will still remain there. Because they are the policemen of the ancestral curses from your home. Everything that's called limitation. Oh, in this family, nobody is allowed to have a boy. You will go and marry. You are doing with your wife. You want to have a boy, have a boy. You keep having girls all over because you are still masturbating. And those spirits are still making sure that whatever code is programmed into the ancestral curse in your family, that they are making sure it happens upon your life. You are partnering with them to keep you at bay. Your business has every right to prosper, but it is dying every day because you keep partnering with the policemen who have been entrusted with keeping you low rather than allowing you to grow. That's why I tell people, I say, for me, the worst addiction that any human being can have on earth, even beyond drug addiction, is masturbation. It's a very dangerous thing. That's why you must be very, very careful. You must be aware of what you do with your body and with your spirit and with your soul. When God delivered me after more than 20 years, I saw the light. I got the power and the keys and that's why I'm helping many others to be free. How can people just watch my video and say, after watching your video, I became free? You know why? Because there's an anointing that God has put on me. Having overcome masturbation, having broken loose. Sometimes I even feel like if I can have a place where I will just lay hands on people who are suffering from this. I'm telling you, by mere placing my hand on you, you will. Because I have conquered the demon. No, this is jokes are I have eaten it like raw, like raw food. It does not have a single power over me again. It's gone forever. That's why people we do something, we watch my video, and instantly something breaks inside of them. And they are free. Because God has given me the key. Run away from masturbation, brother, sister. You think you are doing well and you're masturbating up and down. Stop masturbating and then see how well you are meant to do. You will never know how well. And apart from even all these satanic implications of masturbation, have you thought about the physiological, the psychological, the intellectual impact it has on you? You will wake up and see a bright opportunity, something you can pursue to be well, to do you good, something that is meant to actually help you fulfill destiny. You see the opportunity staring it and you'll be moping like this, like a goat. You can't do anything because the will and the power to be able to pursue has died. That is the energy they suck away from you, the best of all your energies, emotional energy. It is your emotional energy that the Holy Spirit uses to actually intervene on your behalf. That's why the celestial beings actually need them. When your emotional energy is preserved, you become more powerful. The Holy Spirit becomes far freer to move around and navigate within you to make things happen. That's why when they come, they target your emotional energy, which is in the regions of your soul. So, let me go back to where we started from. The soul tie you had with these demons when you were masturbating is the reason they are able to access your dream so that they can make you to have wet dreams. But when you pray the prayer to kill it, it disappears immediately. Even if it doesn't stop immediately, I want you to keep on praying that prayer, special prayer that God has given us so that it will go. So tie is a very strong and dangerous thing. I've, you need to go watch this video so I don't have to keep repeating myself. I've told you what so ties do. When you have sex with someone and the person's energy is deposited in your soul and yours is deposited in them, that person's energy inside your soul becomes the person. That's why you can date somebody and break up with the person after five, six years. And when you want to get into a new serious relationship, the person will just out of nowhere call you. You don't have anything with this person. You have broken up many 
years ago. How did they know you're about to go into another relationship? Because the spirit of that person, the energy of that person living in your soul is still active and alive. That, person, that energy becomes that person. Almost like a spy living with you. So all the men you slept with, their energies are living inside of you as them. The men, the women you slept with, their energies are on top of you. And you're carrying them around. That's why we have the prayer that will help you to evacuate the energy. Throw it away. So that if God gives you a partner, that partner's energy, when you have sex with your partner, under a legally acceptable condition and that atmosphere, that person's energy will come in and not have to fight with any other opposing energy inside of you. That person's energy will now take dominance in your soul. If you have all kinds of energies there, demonic ones, human ones, and your person comes in, the moment his energy makes entry, it is fight, fight, and fight to finish. You will hear that somebody just got married and just within two months, three months, the marriage has packed up. And you are blaming all kinds of demons. It is actually so tired that is responsible for most of all these things. That's why these demons, when you say, I don't want to masturbate again, they will come after you. Oh, they want to leave me? They want to leave me, you will see fire. They will threaten and come. They will go through the dreams knowing that in the dream time, you are unconscious, you are almost inactive, almost dead. So they want to come at your weakest point to access your soul and infuse this satanic thing that you've been doing with them in the physical form. They will infuse it in the spirit. And that's why you wake up and you see wet dreams. I don't want you to think that you have been defeated. I don't want you to think that, well, your deliverance was not real. Oh my, does that mean I have gone back to square one again? No, you haven't gone back to any square one. Maintain your refusal to indulge in masturbation and keep on praying the prayer to break soul ties so that the wet dreams will die a natural death. I'm telling you because it's from experience. It will die. So don't worry yourself. And again, before I round up, I want to make this promise. I keep making promises, but God will help me to fulfill. I am going to make sure that we have a global seminar on breaking the yokes of masturbation. A global seminar online. I'm going to announce that. God will help me. You know, I have too much going on. I can, if I tell you guys the things I have going on, you won't believe it. I have a lot going on, but of course, this one here is what I live for. That is what I was born for. That's what I was created for. And so I can sacrifice anything to make sure that I help people to break loose because the kind of testimonies we have received from people who broke loose, even for just three months of not masturbating, the testimonies will blow your mind. And I'm not even joking. It will blow your mind. And that's why I am challenging you watching this today. Beyond the issue of the wet dreams we're dealing with, if you think you have been dealing with the issue of masturbation, go watch some of the videos I put out there. Pray some of the prayers we have prayed in those videos and pray the prayer to break loose from soul ties. And, and tell yourself that enough is enough. You know, for me, when my own deliverance happened, I actually, you know, the Bible says that it's only together with us that the good things which the Lord has prepared for us shall be made manifest. So God needs your partnership to make your deliverance happen. You need to convince yourself that enough is enough. This backwardness, this thing that when I walk in, everybody, nobody wants to have anything to do with me. This thing that when I walk in, people just reject me. Nobody wants to take my cause. Nobody wants to have anything to do with me. As if I'm smelling. This has got to come to an end right now. And the moment you stop masturbating, the glorious thing that will happen that will encourage you, not only that your finances will improve, not only that opportunities will start coming, all those people that have been bouncing your course, refusing to call, they will be the ones now calling you. People will begin to stream towards you because the energy that you have been giving to demons, you are now storing it and it is increasing the magnetic field around you. And this magnetic field is a positive magnetic field that creates attraction. It begins to attract a lot of good to you. Even people will now begin to look at you and say, ah, 
This guy is actually very handsome. This girl is actually beautiful. Something that they were blinded from seeing all along. So many things will begin to work in your favor because you have now beat the devil to his own game. Please consider praying those prayers and breaking loose. And never ever let wet dreams discourage you from thinking that your deliverance is real. No, your deliverance is real. Make sure you don't go back to it. No matter what addiction the devil wants to bring, even if he creates stress, because many of you don't know, the devil most often than not intentionally creates stress around you so that you will say, let me just go and masturbate so that the stress will go. Sometimes they will create all kinds of pain and the moment you go and masturbate, those things will go, but they will still come back again. He wants to use those as a bait to keep taking you back. So when you feel stressed, Go and run. Go and do something else. Never vow with your life that I cannot let this happen again. And once they know they are serious about it, they will give way. And then the new life for you will begin. I love you with all my heart. and I can't wait to do the seminar that I promised. Please keep the emails coming. Keep your comments coming. Uh, let me know what other questions you have. If I don't get them answered by video, maybe I can answer them by email and please share this video. Let every person who needs to see it, see it. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.